Hello and welcome to my VR game tutorial. We're going to be going over how to make a really simple VR game on Roblox. And by game I mean tech demo. And by tech demo I mean just the hand tracking. It's one of the most crucial steps when it comes to making a VR game on Roblox. But it's also one of the trickier ones to explain. So we're kind of going through it step by step and kind of explaining why we do certain things. So to get started we're just going to... You know, add a uh, new game base plate right here in studio. I'm going to be adding in this starter character thing. It's nothing specific to VR. Uh, you are going to probably want some hands, but you can do this with pretty much anything as long as you've got your root part and two hands. Uh, so we're going to put this little guy, we're going to put him in starter player, name him starter character set. So whenever we hit play, we're going to get this instead of our Roblox character. I realize a lot of people want to do things with their Roblox character, but you know, for the sake of getting it started and getting her done, let's let's just work on getting our hand tracking started. So to do that, we're going to need a local script. So we're going to put in the character because we don't want to worry about the headache of detecting when the player dies and whatnot. So we're going to get some services. Uh, VR service, and we're going to run service too. So, when it comes to running some VR things, you want to be doing that on a render step because we want to make these changes to the world before the frame renders or else everything we do is going to be one frame behind. You might not notice it right away if you're on mobile or desktop, but in VR, not only will your players notice it, they'll feel it too, which obviously we don't want that. So, let's get started into here. Connect function, we're going to want our delta variable because you should be, regardless of VR, you want to make anything you're doing on every frame delta adjusted because you get cases where your frame rate drops, you know how it is. So the first thing we're going to want to do is having the camera track our character. So we're going to want to define our player, we're going to want to define our character. And we're going to want to find our camera as well. And for gits and shiggles, we're going to also define our hands. But we're going to do a wait for child on these because sometimes, uh, and I don't know how good or recent this information is, but sometimes, you know, it just, some, it just doesn't detect it. So we're going to add these. Right hand equals character. Right hand. Alrighty, so first thing we want to do is we want to set our VR center point to be right above the, the cube, your base part. Now, why did I call it a VR center point? And that's because when we set camera.c frame in VR and we're not doing fancy things uh, with head locked. You don't, you're not saying where the eyes actually are, which is good, because that would be a headache having to do all that. All you do is you set your camera C-frame to a certain C-frame, and it'll move the VR view such that your VR center point, which is set when either you recenter or set up your boundary, it sets that to be, uh, that VR center point to be that camera C-frame. So we're just going to do... Dot new, uh, we're going to do character dot humanoid root part dot position plus vector three dot new zero five zero. So uh, we are taking the position of human root part and we're going up by five. We're not multiplying by C frame, we're just adding because ideally we don't want to do, we don't want to worry about cases where that part might get rotated or bumped and then moving the camera because that would cause discomfort in players and that is i've been told very bad so now we need to get the hand tracking data from the controllers and the way we do that is we do vr service get user c frame enum dot user user c frame the left hand so we're going to call this left uh, left hand track. Here we go. And this is the tracking data of where the controller is, specifically the left hand, relative to that VR center point. 
Uh, and, and so in order to apply that, all we got to do is do left hand dot C frame equals camera dot C frame times uh, left hand track. And if I go and hit play there, if you look at that, our left hand is tracking to the left controller. And then we do the exact same thing, but different for the right hand. So we'll go in here, we'll do right hand track equals VR service, get user C frame, uh, user C frame. Right hand dot C frame equals right hand track. And when I hit play in here, by the bingus, we've got hand tracking. Easy peasy. Very straightforward, but it's not perfect. Namely, um, there's no physics. That is, that's boring. So we gotta fix that. There are a lot of ways to do physics in Roblox VR, but there's one I'm particularly biased towards. So we're gonna grab our starter character, we're gonna put it in the workspace. Now really quickly, we're gonna go into this left hand here, we're gonna add an attachment. Um, and we're just gonna call this Fizz Attach. And we're gonna go into our human and root part here, we're gonna add an attachment, we're gonna call you. L hand ATT, so left hand attachment. And we're going to uh, grab this. We're going to add an align orientation and align position. And we're going to grab all of these and we're going to put that there, put that there. And now. Grab that, do, 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 put that in here. And now uh, both of these hands are uh, attached via physics. So just to, to double check, I got this right. I did not get this right. So this is the right hand. Our hand. And L hand. All right. L hand, left hand. Perfect, perfect. Put this back in starter player. And additionally, we have to make sure the hands are unanchored. Now, here's the beauty. The camera C frames in world C frame. This is giving us a, an object space C frame relative to that VR center point. So if we go here, and we do character dot part dot l hand att dot world c frame. We make it equal camera dot c frame times l hand track, and we do the same. Here, we're just gonna really quickly before we do anything. We're gonna grab these and we're gonna turn the reaction forces on because we need those. And we are also going to turn up the responsiveness on both of them. So if I go into here now. And I hit play, you can see we're moving them with physics. And we are running into a little a little bit of a problem where the, the it seems the uh, the physics hitboxes are colliding with each other, but we, we can fix that too. We can go into uh, collision groups. Why is it like that? What is wrong with me? We're gonna add group, we're gonna call you Hands, and we're going to say, hey, hands, you can't collide with other hands. And then we're going to add these parts to that collision group. So that now, when we hit play, there we go. 
And so there's a really interesting thing about doing it this way, and that is if I just kind of hold my hand up here and I go on the server, hey, look at that. We got server-side replication of hands for free. And if I were to go here, let's see, make this, mm, that, 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 that seems big enough. And I were to add a, a part to this, and we'll make it red for interaction's sake. And we'll just kind of put those there, and we'll put that whatever. Now if I go into here, walk over, hey look at that, you got physics movement, a little tricky because I can't quite reach them, but ta-da!